Hello and uh, welcome to Freddy Hardest on the Commodore 64. And uh, well, this is a dynamic game, and if you've ever played any dynamic games, you'll know that they um, they're just brutally hard. I mean, you know, just unpleasantly difficult games normally. Uh, and uh, well, I don't know. Let's uh, let's take a look at Freddy Hardest. So graphically, it's quite smart actually. Uh, I quite like it. Uh, nice and colourful. In the main sprite isn't too great. Oh, lost life already. Oh, there we go. Under controls. Oh! So, yep, it's a typical dynamic game. Stupidly difficult. Uh, unfairly, di just just so unfair. Uh, you know. I mean, if you played, uh, you know, army moves or, uh, or or game over, you know the score. Just, just, just games that are stupid. I mean, what can you do? That's not so unfair. There's nothing you could have done there. Just the game just punishes you every every step. Right, try and tame this. Oh no! Oh! That was the first I ever got, I think. It's just so unfair that, you know, as soon as you do something, uh, you, you can see that it's just going to spawn some enemy right where you're about to land, and there's nothing you can do to avoid it. Uh, absolutely infuriating. Oh, I managed to screw that up, didn't I? Now this is uh Oh no It's just typical dynamic uh gameplay. I mean I, I really don't I mean do they have did they ever use game testers? I'd be surprised. If they did they must have been the greatest game player ever. Cause uh, you know, mere mortals like myself could never get anywhere with these uh, dynamic games at all. And it's a real shame because uh, obviously they've got some some good ideas, but uh, it's just the game design just terrible. Um, I thought I said game over. I thought you know it's a game I really really wanted to like, so I quite like the look of it. Uh, and I like those sort of games, but it was just too hard to enjoy. Come on. This must be the first I've ever got. I think there's a bit of uh, dodgy sprite collision there. Uh, managed to help me. Oh. That, that must have left me about two pixels to make that jump there, but uh, I managed to do it somehow. This is definitely the first I've ever got in this game. Uh, what if you go for? Oh! Surely it's not going to send me all the way back to the beginning. No, I don't think it has. Or has it? Can't tell. There's so little variety in the graphics, I can't actually tell where I am. I think it has actually sent me back to the beginning of the level. Well, that's brilliant. Cheers! No, it hasn't. Okay. Oh. oh. Well, you know, I'm, I'm really trying to keep my blood pressure low, but uh, it's not helping. Another pixel perfect jump to do here. Bit of timing. Oh, what? What? <laughs> right, uh, well, uh, that's pretty hardest for you. Uh, you know, if you're the sort of person that, you know, likes being kicked in the face, 
and, and then when you're down, kicked uh, kicked again, then you might like this sort of game. Uh, me personally, I like games to be fair and, and, and actually fun to play. So that's why I'm going to give this a uh, 2 out of 10. Just because I, I quite like some of the graphics uh, and I like the idea of the game, but, uh, but the actual difficulty is just too bloody hard. So yeah, 2 out of 10 and uh, well, I'll, I'll be honest, uh, you know, I'd, I would quite like to, um, to, to, um, have a look on the uh, internet and see if there's anybody that actually managed to get pretty far in this game. Uh, my heart's definitely off to them, but, uh, <laughs> I know I'm not going to play this again, ever. So, uh, yeah, 2 out of 10, and, uh, that's probably me being a bit generous, but, uh, there we go. See you in the next video.